we thank you, we thank you. We will not miss the season, God. We will not miss the assignment, oh God. We will not fail you because you will not allow us to fail you, God. God, our heart belongs to you. Ah, cast me not away from thy presence. Take not your spirit from us, God. Mm. And restore the joy of salvation so that we may worship you. Let us find our joy in you. You are our desire. You are our inheritance. We will find joy in you. We will find joy in serving you. The joy of salvation. The joy of salvation. Come on, we ask for the joy of salvation. We ask for the joy. The joy of salvation. The joy of salvation that we will be 80, 90 years old. Happy about serving you. That we will be will still be smiling, will still be joyous. We'll say, I love the Lord, and they'll be able to hear and feel the love of the Lord coming from us. We'll outlive that which is a statistic in our generation. We will not be a part of the great falling away. We will be a part of the great gathering, the gathering, those that will meet him on the last day, those that will meet him in the book of Revelations. We will be a part of those witnesses. Oh God. Ah, rabasendo boko shata rababakosa. Ah, God, we say yes again. Yeah, rabaso. I feel that anybody need to say yes again. No raboko shanda. We say yes again. Hey, yes again, yes again. Hallelujah. Come on, let us stretch our hands towards our spiritual parents. Let's begin to pray for strength for both of them. While he's speaking, you will notice that mama's always praying for him. So, Father, we declare strength into our leaders. Strength. And as, as strength is being released to them, I feel like those that are in need of strength, God is going to release strength to you. Some of you came here weak, but you will leave out of these doors with strength. Father, we pray for our parents now. We declare, Father, as we call them blessed, we rise up and call them blessed. And we declare strength from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Every word of God shall be fulfilled in their life. Every prophecy is coming to pass now. Ha, 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 ha. Anything that has been delayed. Come on, I dare you to begin to make some declarations over their life. They will not die before they see the fulfillment of the word of the Lord in their generation. They are the glory of the Lord for their generation. We declare now that their ladder shall be greater than their past. We declare, Father, that they shall never lack in strength. In finances, in ideas, they shall never lack with things that they need. Come on, as you're praying things are opening. I see doors opening. I hear keys. I hear gates beginning to open as we are blessing them. Father God, we declare seed is flowing. That Father, they shall never not be productive. Oh God, they shall have what they need. Whatsoever they say. We pray for their family, God. On both ends, we declare God that they shall not know lack. They shall be the light that is shining in darkness in their families. We lift them to be the voice voice of reason for councilmen. We lift them to be the voice of reason for this generation. And Father, we bless them with strength. Every bit of virtue that they have been pouring out, we declare a thousandfold return unto them. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want you to get your seed. Get your offering. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Let them. Some people don't have their offering ready yet, so just hold on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Father, we bless you. We give your name the glory. Hallelujah. Come on, get your seed. Hallelujah. Father, we bless this seed. Father, we declare as it leaves our hands, it will not leave our life. We declare, Father, it's a future. It is building altars that will testify in heaven on our behalf for our life, for our generation, for our family. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You can give your offering. Hallelujah. As, as the offering's been taken up, I just, Papa said something that I, that I really think that we need to, <laughs> you said that he didn't, that Joseph didn't have oil put on his head. But when you said that, I saw the process of olive oil. So God said, some people can have oil put on their head. Others, he will crush the oil out of them. So, because, because Joseph didn't really have anybody to really submit to, he had to be crushed. But we have the opportunity of just bowing and letting somebody put oil on our head. You understand? So you don't have to, you can skip a process of 20 years of delay by just crushing yourself <laughs> right that's what it says humble yourself in the mighty hand of God so if you will crush yourself then oil will be placed on you but if you don't then God will have to put you through the process of crushing you I was just messed up and another thing Papa gave us today he was telling you the Bible says in Romans 14 and 17 it says that the kingdom of God and I, I, I just thought this was good to share with you. Romans 14, 17 says, For the kingdom of God is, uh, is not a matter of, of what we eat and drink, but of the living a life of goodness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. If you serve Christ with this attitude, you will please God, and others will approve of you too. So even if you can't really hear what God is saying, if you get peace about it, it gives you direction if you don't have peace don't move the disciples would not move if they didn't agree they would actually wait until they actually all agreed if you don't get joy about it then you know it's not the fullness of God so I'm appreciative of everybody those were just some things that pulled that really flowed to me how many of y'all are ready for feast of incense gombe huh amen so that is uh, uh, no, November, right? November the 3rd through the 6th. November the 3rd through the 6th. And um, we will have our second um, international, because now um, Class of Sons is open to not just uh, those that are here in Joss, but we have opened Class of Sons internationally. So that means that people are going to be coming from uh, all over Nigeria, and some people may start flying in just to come in on every first Saturday. Amen. It, it doesn't, don't, don't, don't be surprised, because I was not here, and now I'm here. <laughs> Chanel was watching us online. Chanel, where you at? I was, she was watching us online, but she's here live and in the flesh. <laughs> not, not the flesh in the bad way, but her flesh is here. Uh -huh. <laughs> she's not virtually anymore. You understand? You can touch. You. How many of you hug Chanel? Okay, all right. So you, can, you see she's here. So that means that prophecies, 
We are literally at the place where Papa said that the word became light. Papa's been saying nations are coming. The nations are coming. I'm here. Hey. <laughs> and his word became a nation. You don't see. So that means you have to be careful of what you're saying in this season because our spiritual father is at the level where whatever he says is coming to pass and not taking long. Stuff he's been declaring for 20 years is happening right now on the same altar that you just sowed a seed in. Watch your mouth. Look at your neighbor say, watch your mouth. Be careful what you say. All right, so um, we are, okay, yes, I uh, welcome the new people. Any new people, please raise your hand. We're not going to call you up. We just want to welcome you. Amen. Thank you. Let's celebrate them. Welcome to Ancient Floodgates. Hallelujah. Uh, Sister Sarah, if you can get there, she, you can give your information to Sister Sarah. Huh? Okay, you can come up to the front and see Sister Sarah after service, okay, so that we can get your information and things. Um, don't forget on Wednesdays, how many of you remember to fast today? Oh, okay, all right. That's why I put it inside. I put it in the group chat. I said, ah, some of y'all have already eaten breakfast, but uh, I'm not... Yeah, I'm going to blast him. I hope he's watching. Prophet James called me. He said, he said, brother, um, I already ate breakfast, so I'm just going to start tomorrow. I said, uh-uh, you, you don't get to do that. He said, I already ordered ribs. I said, so now you're going to allow your flesh to win. Uh-huh, let it win. He said, okay, now I feel condemned. <laughs> so it does not matter if you forget. It matters that your heart does that. And guess what? If you go for... Only uh, 11, if you go for eight hours and we were trying to go for 12 and you didn't make it, it's your heart. So we are looking for God to do your heart. We hope you make it 12. And eventually, you know, I feel like technically since we are teaching in the Hebraic calendar, we need to start actually 6 p.m. on Tuesday to actually make it to today for 24 hours. But we are working with the 12, you understand? So, first Saturdays is a feast. I mean, it's Class of Sons. The Class of Sons will be in Gombe. Um, if you are wanting to go to Gombe with us, start preparing yourself. I'm sure by next week we will have um, how much everything will cost and all of that. We thank God for Pastor Ima. He's here with us. He's the, the, um, ah, he's the regional director of Gombe. Amen. <laughs> the, yes, that thing came out of my, my spirit. <laughs> we... Look what God is doing. You understand? Pa, do y'all understand that the, uh, the, the apostolic means that you don't have to, you, you train people and they begin to form things. Because you can't go everywhere. So Jesus took 12 people, poured his life into them for three and a half years, sent them out and you are still living off the fruit of their word. So Papa said all you need is six months to a year. Three months, actually, if you really submit in three months, you literally will go to another level if you submit to discipleship for three months. Every Matter of fact, I'm going to give you something. Every three months, you should be going to another level spiritually, at minimum. You can go every month and every week if you submit, but at least every three months, you should be going somewhere spiritually at a different place. Um... If you, if you are not serving and you would like to serve, we are looking for people to help with media. Um, we are looking for people, uh, if you feel like you are called to any one of the places in the house, um, Miracle is over the worship department and anything creative. Uh, uh, worship and protocol. Ushering and protocol. David has ushering and protocol. And we are also looking for people who don't mind coming to pray. So David is here most of the time, uh, basically throughout the week, during the day. Uh, floodgates is open. Somebody say floodgates is open. So that means if you are at home and you feel like you need to come and pray, we're here. The only day is on Wednesdays. We normally, uh, you know, we don't come until about 2.30, but prayer starts at 2.30. So we are getting ready. 
um, uh, Papa will be traveling next week, so be praying for him. And um, uh, we're just looking forward to what God is going to do. Um, get ready, because we're in our new season. Amen? Amen? And look at your neighbor. Say, don't get used to this spot. Don't get used to this spot. Look at somebody else. Say, don't get used to this spot. The location is changing very soon. Amen. I'm just preparing your spirit because y'all see we have already outgrown. There's no room to fall under the glory. There's no flagging that can take place. Uh-huh. You, we are getting close, right? And if you invite, if everybody invo- invited one person, we wouldn't be able to fit in here. Yes. <laughs> Papa said, if you want to fall, fall in, not out. So you have to receive. So, so God is, so somebody said the land is already there. All we need is the money to build. So God will bless you millionaires to build the house. Amen. And um, this Saturday, I know it's a little impromptu, but this Saturday by 10, those that are part of the global mentorship you, for um, going global will meet here by 10. I'm not going to take up your time, but I want to see what you have done. You understand? Global mentorship, I don't hear you. I want to see what you've done. So that means between now and Saturday, you have time to take pictures. You have time to build your, to go and see what you need to do to build your website, whatever it is, or figure out what you need. Um, those who take pictures, please bring your cameras because for those that actually need photos and stuff like that, we're going to try to make sure we can get them some good photography and different things so that we can work together. Figure out what you need for your business. Amen? Because I'm looking forward to us being able to sow a tremendous seed for every feast that comes up soon. A minimum of 100000 That's ten to 20000 per business. That's not a problem. You can make that in a day. Amen. Amen. So let us stand up on our feet. Oh, we have Daughters of Shiloh. Uh, it was just last, last one. So the next one, next month every second uh, Sunday by three.